Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Let's have a look at this past year question. Question of the year 2011, October November paper, variance 33. For the part one, you are asked to use the substitution method to do this integration. So, for the part one, when you are asked to use substitution, the first step to do is differentiate what is given. So for this case is to find out the du dx. So differentiate tangent x, we should have a secant square x. And for the step 2, you are supposed to change the limits. So these are the limits that you need to change. When x equals to 0, we have to change it into use limit. So what we need to do now is to substitute the x equals to 0 into here to get the use limit. And therefore, u should be equals to tangent 0, which is equals to 0. And when x equals to pi over 4, you just need to substitute into here to get the u's limit. And u will be equals to tangent pi over 4, which is equals to 1. And the third step now, we need to substitute in here this expression. So first, we change the limits instead of from 0 to pi over 4, we have 0 to 1. And for the tangent power n plus 2 here, you can change it into u power n plus 2. The tangent x power n here, you can change it into u power n. As for the dx here, you can change it by rearranging this one, which is the dx should be equals to du over secant square x. And hence, now we can sub in the dx as du over secant square x here. We are supposed to change everything in terms of u before we can do the integration. But there is still a secant square x here. So how to get rid of this? We got to make the secant square in terms of tangent. So u power n plus 2 and the u power n remains the same. So the bottom part, I can change it into 1 plus tangent square x. And now, the tangent square x over here, you can substitute with u power 2. So it becomes 1 plus u power 2 here. And we need to simplify a bit before we can do the integration. So what to do here, we can actually factorize the u power n. So it's left with the u power 2 plus 1 times du over 1 plus u square and these two terms actually can be cancelled off and therefore you are only left with the u power n du and now we just need to integrate this expression with respect to u and hence we will get u power n plus 1 over n plus 1 with the limits of 0 to 1 and we are supposed to substitute the limits into the u and not the n. So for now, it should be 1 power n plus 1 over n plus 1 minus 0 power n plus 1 over n plus 1. And hence, the answer should be equal to 1 over n plus 1, which is the same as what is requested here. That's how we do for the part 1. Have a look at the part 2 now. Part 2, hence. Hence means it's related to part 1. 
find the exact value of a you have to integrate this so now we need to try to find a way to relate this expression to the part one's expression what we are having now is second second square and second power four so how to change it in terms of tangent so we have to use the identity of 1 plus tangent square x equals to secant square x. So try to make use of this identity and change all the secant terms into tangent. So let's try the part 2. In order to express the part 2 in terms of tangent, we need to factorize the secant square from these two terms. Then we will left with the secant square x minus 1 in the bracket and now we can change it in terms of tangent because second square is equal to 1 plus tangent square x and for the second square minus 1 it should be just equal to the tangent square x and now what we need to do is multiply the tangent square into each and every term I will get tangent power 4 plus tangent power 2x and let's compare this with the part 1's answer have a look at the part 1 here take note at the power the part 1's power is n plus 1 n n and what we are having now is 4 and 2 which means the n should be equal to a 2 and hence the final answer, you can just substitute the n equals to 2 into here, which is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1. And the final answer should be a 1 over 3. That's for the part A. Have a look at the part B here. You are supposed to integrate this expression. And now everything is already in terms of tangent. And what we need to do now is just to relate it to the part 1's expression here. So that we can make use of this final answer of 1 over n plus 1. So let's try to rearrange the part B. For the part B, what we need to do here is to make sure that it's the same form as the part 1. So that we can make use of the part 1's answer. So have a look at the coefficient here. Is different but from the part one you can make sure that the coefficients are the same so what we need to do now is instead of having five tangent power seven we got to take out one of it to pair with the tangent nine so five tangent power seven after we take out one to pair with the tangent power nine you'll be left with just four of the tangent power seven and the same thing goes to the 5 tangent power 5 here. It's a 5 here. Alright, what we need to do now is to take out one of it to pair with the tangent power 3 here. So if we take out one, we will left with 4 tangent power 5. And the one that we take out, tangent power 5, should pair with the tangent power 3. So now you notice that this is one pair, this is one pair, and this is one pair. Then now we can make use of the answer from the part 1 to solve this question. So what to do is, for the first pair, the n should be equal to 7. For the second pair here, the n should be equal to a 5. As for the third pair here, the n should be equal to a 3. So now, we can substitute the n into the final answer which is 1 over n plus 1. So for the first pair, it should be 1 over 7 plus 1. And for the second pair, remember to factorize the 4. And the fraction should be 1 over 5 plus 1. As for the last pair, it should be 1 over 3 plus 1 and this will give you the final answer as 25 over 24. This is how we solve for this question. 
that's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.